Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to create a bar chart in SSRS report. So first of all, we will prepare our query and then use that query to create this chart. Let's go to SSMS SQL Server Management Studio and take a look on the query. So we have select query. That's the select region, country and item sold from one of the table called DBO total sale. The definition and the data of this table is available on our website www.techbrothersit.com under SSRS video tutorial. So you can go ahead and copy and recreate your table and experiment with this one. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the region as categories and then countries I will use as series and then I will use items sold as values. So let's go ahead and play with this. Open SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and uh, first of all you have to have a shared data source or uh, you will be creating embedded data source i recommend creating a shared data source if you are creating more than one report from the same database so i already have a sales shared data source right click on the reports add new item now click the rep report item and provide the name so in, in this case we are going to call this one bar chart add empty report will be created you click on the data sources add data source provide some good name let's call this one dset sales and uh, use shared data source reference so that's sales we know that already hit ok now click on the data sets and add data set here provide a better name so let's call this these set sales and uh, this is going to be emb embedded in our report now select the data source and then provide the query. The query can be select query or it can be a store procedure. Hit OK. Now in the design surface, right click and go to insert and then select chart. Now the very first thing here on the left, we have the chart types available to us. And by default, the column chart is selected. We are interested to create a bar chart. So click on the bar. And once you click on the bar, the very first bar chart will be selected. So if you see here under the bar, there are different types of charts available further to this basic bar chart. So we have bar, we have stacked bar, and then we have 100% stacked bar, and all 3D and all those. So we will be using bar chart here, and then I will have another demo for stacked bar chart and some other different types. So let's click on the bar chart for now. Hit OK. So you see here the difference between a column chart and bar chart. In the column chart, we see the categories were on x-axis and our values were on y-axis. But in the bar chart, our categories are on the y-axis and then our values are on the x-axis. So that's the difference between bar chart and column chart. No big difference. You can always convert them if you like. We will do in this demo as well. So click on this chart and then for the values, provide the item sold. That's our number. And you see that now it is turned into the blue. And I'm going to provide a category. So that will be replaced. This ABC will be replaced with double category. So now go ahead and use a region. So now you see region F, A, B, C, D and all that. But that uh, that's not going to be region no ABC. It will be our name of regions. So let's preview the report now. So now you can see that we have Asia, Europe and North America and these values we can see that for Asia we have 10, we have Europe that's almost like close to 20, we don't know the exact number for North America that's greater than 10 but we don't know the exact number. Let's put the data labels on these, click on these bars, right click and say show data labels. Now this will display us the number. Now we can see that the exact number or value of these items sold in each of the region. That's great. Now what we are interested in, we are interested to, to divide these categories further into the countries. So for Asia, let's say we have two countries, we want to see those here. And for Europe, we want to see the European countries. And for North America, we want to see the North American countries. So let's go to the design again and include the series group that's going to divide our category further so here we select country now we go back and uh, you can see here we, we have the region as a category and that's Asia and uh, here we can see okay red one is uh, India and uh, 
uh, this is I don't know you call it blue or whatever so is the Pakistan and these are the values uh, then we have Europe uh, and for Europe we see that two uh, countries of uh, France in a uh, blue sky blue and then we have orange for the Germany and for North America we have only one country that's the USA so that's how you will be creating uh, your bar charts uh, let's uh, click on this one and play with little more different type chart type uh, uh, change our type and now in the bar instead of uh, let's uh, do I want to do simple uh, this one uh, 3d that's not gonna work actually this one uh, uh, clustered horizontal cylinder let's see if that works better okay so if you are interested in these uh, kind of different shapes uh, you wanna show in a cylinders uh, you can select that with the stacked uh, the there, there, there are some differences. I'm going to show you the stack chart in the next one because the series will be stacked on each other for each of the category. Uh, we will play with that in the next video. Now, uh, go back and convert to this simple bar chart again. And I, as I was telling you, here you see the categories are on the y-axis and your values are on the x-axis. The, and the, in the column they are totally reverse so let me convert this one to the column now change chart type and go to the column and now you will see the categories came down on the x-axis and your values are going upwards on the y-axis so if you preview that this is how it will look like so uh, this is how you will be creating a bar chart or column chart from your data set you can convert them uh, as you like and uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video.